bit of extra information about navigating and working with content in InDesign. You might have seen me moving around a bit, uh, zooming in and out. So that is very important to be able to do, to check your alignment, to be able to see the details, but also to be able to see the overview. So uh, a few important bits to know about. You can zoom in very easily either by using control and plus to zoom in or minus to zoom out on the keyboard. Uh, you can also hold alt on the keyboard and just scroll and you can scroll in and out. By the way, control plus and minus for the Mac, it's command plus and minus. Uh, and you can move around like when you're zoomed in and you want to move from one place to another the quickest way to do it is to just hold space and you see as as i press space my cursor changes into a little hand this is what you can also do in indesign uh, just like an in indesign in photoshop or illustrator and a lot of other applications and while i am holding space and i have that little hand as the cursor i can just click and drag the document to move it around you see the hand closing in and it's grabbed and i can move it and when i let go of space i get back to the previous tool regardless of what tool it is so even if i have the pen tool while i hold space this is what i get uh an, a special situation is when i'm inside text because if i hit space now I'm just going to type a space. So when I am inside active text, I need to hold the alt key and I get the same effect. There are other ways in which you can move around and zoom around. You can, for example, hit control or command on the Mac and zero to zoom in to fit the entire page. Uh, you can use the tools here, the hand tool and the zoom tool. You can write a percentage or select one from the bottom here. There are a lot of ways, but I'd say these are the most effective ones. Alt and scroll or control plus and minus and zero and using space or alt to move around. And another important bit to realize is that you can use the modifier key, keys shift control and alt to uh, resize and move content in various ways so for example if you want to resize an image and its box at the same time you should hold control now if i click i'm gonna do a, an ugly thing but i'm holding control on the keyboard and if i click and drag the edges of the box, you see the image has also been resized in a very ugly way. I'm going to hit Control Z to get back. If I hold Alt, I'm going to resize the object from the center. So I'm only resizing the box, but the center stays put. You can kind of see what's happening and all of the corners move symmetrically. And if I let go, see, I resized the box, not the image inside it. If I hold shift, I'm resizing uh, proportionally. So it doesn't let me squish. As in, I can't make this a tall box. It, it keeps the same proportion. If it's a square, it stays a square. This is not, but it stays in the same kind of uh, ratios width to height so i can't however much i try i cannot make it a landscape crop a uh, portrait crop sorry and you can also combine these so i can hold control and shift and alt for example all three of them uh, to resize the image and its box because i'm holding control proportionally because i'm holding shift and from the center because I'm holding alt and this does all three and you can use them in all combinations control and shift alt and shift alt and control to resize 
in the various ways you might require.